Hello my dears, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Annie Galite and today we are going to be talking about a very important topic that concerns us women and that determines our relationship with men. So grab your favorite cup of tea, sit back, relax and let's discuss. The first one is communicate effectively when you are in a relationship with a man you should make sure you make your thoughts clear like you communicate your thoughts clearly to the man the other person in the relationship in this case a man ladies our tongues can be sharper than a double-headed sword our words have the power to destroy the very relationships with invested so much time and energy into building it's time to be mindful of what we say especially when it comes to our men you know sometimes in the heat of uh, an argument you can say something that can can break your relationship like can destroy your relationship forever so make sure no matter how pressured you are you should make sure you don't say those words or those phrases or sentences that can destroy the relationship and will never ever bring it back to where it were before the argument. Even if we apologize and claim we didn't mean to say what we said, the damage has been done. So we should be mindful of the words that comes out from our mouths when we are in the heat of an argument. Those spiteful words linger in the air, haunting the relationship. It's time for some self-reflection. So ladies, always have a self-reflection, self-evaluation. It's good for you to do it because if someone else tells you, it's difficult for you to understand. But if you, you do like a self-evaluation of the things you do, your actions and the words you use, you are going to notice that you can as well listen to yourself. Sometimes maybe you say many words that you can't remember everything you said, but I mean, like a really seen person who always remembers some of the hard phrases they say in the heat of an argument. So make sure you don't say these words because, okay, let's say for instance, the guy you are dating or the man you're dating at, the, at that point in time, is your fiance or your boyfriend and maybe he has plans to take your relationship to the next level but all these words all the fights all the arguments and all the bad words stays in his mind and lingers and he is not going to see you the same after the argument this is somehow going to uh, distort maybe the, the process of maybe after fiance marriage and all it's going to distort the process you know not every most guys want to like if they want to have a long-term relationship with you they want you to be authentic they don't want you to be like night today your night tomorrow your day you are not consistent they want someone who can be continuously consistent like be in a sustainable relationship sustainable meaning like the relationship is going to last that's what they want so make sure you are authentic when you are with your guy the next one i know every situation is unique every relationship is unique every relationship is different but if you find yourself constantly bringing up the topic of marriage your partner keeps giving you excuses it might be time to evaluate your approach you know men value respect above all else Disrespecting them continuously or even once can lead to irreplaceable or irreparable breakup in the relationship. Remember, ladies, respect is key. Yes, this point is maybe the most important point when it comes to the things that you say to a man. Like, um, if in the heat of an argument, you might be right in what you're saying, but always try always try as much as possible to communicate your thoughts with respect you have to practice respect and emotional intelligence you have to express empathy to your partner so no matter what 
this is someone you want to spend the rest of your life with so you must be ready to reason with the person even when you know that this person is wrong you need to look find a balance like create a balance it shouldn't be like i want to always win it's not a competition you mustn't be the, the one who wants to win or you want to always be the one who is right sometimes you might be right sometimes you might want to win. some sometimes you you might want to win an argument but you have to assess the level of the argument you have to assess the heat of that argument if it's something that you can't stand physically emotionally you have to just be quiet or just just change the topic and let's not forget those heated arguments where we are tempted to throw hurtful words like i already mentioned those hurtful words you throw them right back at the man the man whom you plan to spend the rest of your life with i get it ladies sometimes they say things that hurt us deeply as well but retaliating with equally hurtful words only leads to resentment and pain time to break this cycle and choose our words wisely we should just practice or learn how to choose our words wisely because sometimes hurtful words comes from the man but you need to know how to create the balance in this kind of situation maybe you just walk out just walk away from the argument maybe that's safer now before we continue let me address a disclaimer to those of you who are planning to leave comments like why are you blaming women what about the men just remember i am here to empower women physically emotionally socially and economically so if i'm talking about anything in this instance i'm talking about how you have to deal with a man and five things you should never say to a man so i'm not talking about men here i'm talking about women so don't come for me don't tell me that I, what about the men sometimes the men to do these things what do i have to do in this case i'm just telling you what you have to do if you find yourself in this kind of situation how to behave as an elegant woman as a responsible woman as a woman of value because if you're a woman of value and you're looking for a man of value you need to be a woman of value to meet up to the occasion you can't be a woman of low value and you're searching for a man of high value because high value men already know what they want they already have almost everything that they need so if they want a partner they want a partner who is going to come to their level so are you ready to be at that level to be at the same level with a high value man if you're not ready then you can never back a high value man so if i'm making this point is trying to help you to come to the, the level of a high value man and to make your relationships long lasting and sustainable my wonderful ladies let's dive into the five things that you should never say to a man so you are not a man first off you are not a man you know uh, in modern times so many women have gone out from the private sphere from the household from being housewives from being uh, uh, not interested in public jobs by going out to the public sphere so there is a lot of competition between men and women in the public sphere competition for resources competition for ideas competitions for, for almost everything so many women have come have had jobs which was done many years ago was done exclusively by men so the competition has made so many women who have had these kinds of jobs to turn to behave more like men so the masculine energy comes in the point here is that no matter what no matter your economic status no matter your physical uh look physical ability your race your color you are not a man you are a woman and if you are a woman you need to behave like a woman you need to tap into your feminine energy you can't even if you are a banker the bank manager the president the vice president the the ceo because nowadays we've got women in these kinds of positions 
prime ministers, you know. So even if you are in those positions, which were mostly run or occupied by men, and now you are one of the women who are occupying these positions, you are still a woman, but a high value woman. So you should never feel that you are a man. So questioning a man's masculinity is one of the most degrading and hurtful things you can say. It strikes at the core, to the core of his identity, insults his ego, and can crush his self-confidence. Let's avoid demeaning our men with such statements as, are you a man? Are you, you're not man enough, you know? those kind of statements because you feel that you now earn six figures, you are a bank manager, you are an accountant, you've got financially stable and you are an, an independent woman. So you can say anything that you want to a man and the man has to just succumb, come to you, has to submit to you. It doesn't work that way. A man is a man. So you have to treat a man like he is a man, not because you are a woman who is now trying to tap into masculine energy. You feel that you are a man. You're not a man. You're a woman. Tap into your feminine energy and enjoy being pampered like the queen that you are. Stop using phrases like, how dare you? How dare you is a demeaning phrase. These three words reeks of disrespect, condensation, and patronizing behavior. Let's remember, ladies, that empathy and common sense should guide our interactions. There are more constructive ways to express our displeasure without belittling our men. So, number two, all men are trash, you know? <laughs> you, remember, you know, there's so many ladies who have had uh, breakups, so many breakups. Unfortunately, there are some ladies who have had so many breakups to the point that they try to tap every man, every man as the men they have had experiences with. It doesn't work that way. You can't say all men are scums, all men are trash. How can you compare men to trash? How can you compare men to dogs? Now, this toxic generalization stems from unresolved hurt or trauma. So because one man hurts you doesn't mean that the next man is going to hurt you. And uh, there is this statement that we attract what we are because there's always a continuous pattern for the kind of people that you attract. It keeps repeating itself like, you date this person, you break up with the person, their character, their traits are almost the same. It might be a time for reflection and re-evaluation. Ask yourself, why am I attracting these kinds of people? Why? What's in me? What do I do that makes these kind of people to come towards me? Why? Why am I attracting them? So you need to do self-evaluation, self-reflection in order to, to build yourself and to attract the right people, the right men to you. So let's rise above pessimism and distrust and treat each man as an individual worthy of respect. Number three, you are not my type. <laughs> Girl, come on. <laughs> Why it's okay to politely decline someone's proposal, we should do so with empathy and kindness. Let's avoid making men feel inadequate or lacking and instead focus on expressing our feelings without tearing them down. <laughs> and uh, you know, this statement of you are not my type. <laughs> oh my God. This statement is one of the statements that many ladies, when they turn 40, they turn to look back and see that this statement, this particular statement, made them to be single at 40 because you are highly selective to the point that you relegate the men who would have been your life partners you push them to the back 
and when it's time for you to settle down and try to start a family it's so difficult to find a man and you start asking questions like where are the men where are the men come on girl the men came to you and you pushed them away because you were so so selective so stop using this statement like you are not my type yes of course it's normal everyone's got what they like in a man some ladies say they like men who are tall with broad chest biceps the six parts uh, handsome dark you know all those traits there is this question how many of such men you have in your family how many of your brothers are like the kind of man that you want is your father the same no the kind of men you're searching are less than one percent of the world's population so how do you expect to get this kind of men like i mean in a sample of a hundred women if you ask them what kind of man you want they, it's the same description over and over the same kind of man you have to get married to a man not because of the way he looks physically but because of how well he can protect he can provide and he can he can protect provide and produce yes produce like produce offsprings right so that's how you select a man you don't select a man because of the way he looks physically of course physical abilities are also a positive quality for procreation right but unfortunately we don't have this this uh, <laughs> girl's choice we don't have them like everywhere how many of such men do you have as your own brothers and how many of such men do you have as friends girl if I turn around I think I have just two of those kind of men that I know so if everyone is everyone wants to have that kind of man it means that in the long run so many women will be single and they will end up not having a man to settle down with <laughs> oh ladies we are so choosy <laughs> and there is this other statement there are better men out there who want me <laughs> girl you should never ever make such a statement when you are in a relationship with a man you should never say this to a man ladies never ladies comparing your man to other men is a recipe for disaster trust me it's heart-wrenching for a man to hear that he is not good enough for the woman he loves let's build our partners up not tear them down right you can't tell a man that you are not good enough like <laughs> girl <laughs> you're not good enough so what are you doing in a relationship with a man who is not good enough if you are someone who is making such a statement then you should know better you shouldn't be in a relationship with a man who is not good enough for you you should never ever be in a relationship with that kind of a man right so my ladies those are the things that you should never say to a man never ever no matter what even in the heat of an argument you should never say these things to a man thanks for watching stay tuned please don't forget to comment like share and subscribe subscription is free it is free if you want to support my work please just subscribe to my channel Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you all next time. Bye.